let's get this right out of the way at the start of the video. I did see some people going out there and talking about this particular media availability and bringing up the idea that says that it's not really beneficial to hear what a player has to say when they sign on to a new team because, of course, he's just going to give cookie-cutter answers, he's going to not really provide any insight that's not obvious? Like, why is a player going to go out there and talk poorly about a team that he just signed with? Of course, he's going to talk positively about the opportunity, right? And I saw a lot of fans of other teams saying, yeah, it's not really beneficial to see this type of an interview being done. But at this point, these types of things, they are just formalities. So today, as we go over the recent interviews done with newly signed Ottawa Senators forward Vladimir Tarasenko, I wanted to just keep that in the back of our minds here, that yes, while this interview or series of interviews may not provide the most insightful or enlightening pieces of knowledge, it's just good to hear about. These are formalities you have to hear from the new guy because he's a highly touted free agent who decided to sign with your team. He is playing in Canada for the first time in his career, and there were already a few moments throughout the interviews and the press media availabilities where he was like, yeah. I feel like I've kind of answered the same question three times already because that's what the Canadian reporters do, baby. They go out there and hound you with the same questions over and over because Canadian media outlets just cannot get enough of their hockey players. We're going over onto two articles here today. One of them was posted on the Ottawa Sun. This is Bruce Garriock going over the Tarasenko comments and the media availability. And we are also making another conversation happening around this post on the Sens subreddit. Big shout out over to Reddit user The Centennial, because what they did was they summarized the Vladimir Tarasenko interview on TSN 1200 from August 1st. So, because these are both kind of interlinked together, let's actually talk about the Reddit post first, go over Vladimir Tarasenko's ideas, what it is that he feels about signing in Ottawa. He said that he spoke with his family and he had a lot of time to weigh on the decision. The Sands have a very good young team. They won a lot of games last year and almost made the playoffs. He also said that he had spoken with Claude Giroux and Brady Kachuk. And based off of what they had said, he really liked what he had thought of the team. This idea was actually brought on in the Bruce Garriock piece on the Ottawa Sun as well, that yeah, Tarasenko went out there and had himself a few conversations with these top Ottawa guys. Brady Kachuk, of course, the captain of the team, he knows what it's all about. He's really invigorated the spirit of this team the past few years. And Claude Giroux, being another highly touted free agent from last year's free agency class who had decided to come home to Ottawa, that guy definitely has his own perspective to offer to a free agent that is going to make his home in Ottawa for the next year. So it's really good, actually, to hear that there is this level of connection and openness between Tarasenko and other players around the league, wherein he can say, yeah, I spoke with Giroux, I spoke with Kachuk, they let me know what was going on here, I liked it, which is why I decided to sign. There also was the question, why did he only sign a one-year deal, despite there being offers for multi-year deals with other teams? We actually didn't talk about that here on the channel, but there were other offers given out to this guy, ranging in different times and different dollar amounts to other teams, some even with Ottawa, but Tarasenko settled with the one-year deal. He said he had never played or been in Canada, and if it works for both sides, then great. We'll see how it goes. That right there is pretty good, too. I like that he's not being super definitive about whether or not it's going to go to a long-term thing, or if this really is just a one-year wonder type situation. He's leaving the door open, Silk Sonic style. And I feel like with that sort of idea in mind, it's easier for Sens fans to get on board with the idea that says, okay, it is only one year. If this doesn't go well, fine, he can leave. We can trade him away if he allows it because there is protection on the deal. But at the end of the day, this isn't a guarantee in any respect. It's just testing the waters here. When it comes to the roller coaster of free agency, Tarasenko said it was not an easy month. He focused on next year, and he's excited for the opportunity, and he's looking forward to this season. They also asked him on whether or not he was looking for a long-term deal in particular, and long story short, Tarasenko didn't want to share that, he doesn't want to talk about it anymore, and he wants to focus on good things, and that this signing was a good thing. There also was an intriguing conversation to be had about other players on the Ottawa Senators that he has spoken to. Lots of guys had reached out to him, he said. He was added to the group chat, and they talk basically every day. It seems like a really tight group. The guys seem like they're ready to take the next step, and it's nice to be around a close group who cares about each other. Everybody is ready to take the next step, and Tarasenko himself is ready to help the team do it. 
And you see, this is sort of why a lot of other fan bases went out there and said, yeah, what's the point of these interviews? Like, these are not really insightful things. Like, they're the proper things to say, of course, but who really needs to go out there and hear this? Well, I'll answer that question. Ottawa Senators fans, it's good for them to go out there and hear the words coming from their own guy's mouth that he is indeed engaged and wanting to help out this team. Tarasenko says that the Sens have a lot of good players, they play fast hockey, they won a lot of games last season, and he doesn't think people realize that they're a great group of guys and a good group of hockey players. They're ready to take the next step, and Tarasenko is happy to be a part of it. There are a few more questions, but the last one I wanted to focus on from this interview was regarding people he knows on the team. He says that he knows Artyom Zub, and he speaks with him and plays games together. He knows some of the former Russian players who also played in the Sens as well. Now, a lot of people in the comment section of this Reddit post, by the way, big shout out again to the Centennial for going out there and actually writing this out, but a lot of people were asking, hey, what games do Zub and Tarasenko play together? Online shooters, NHL 23, who really knows? But of course, that's just kind of ragtag conversation. Let's go over onto the Ottawa Sun piece and get some more comments from Tarasenko during his regular media availability as published by Bruce Garriock. He says that when it comes to this group, the Ottawa Senators themselves, after talking to players like Claude Giroux and Brady Kachuk, they basically told him everything that's going on with the team, which makes us think this is the best fit for us, and it's very exciting. It's very important to have a good group of guys, Tarasenko said. I was lucky to have that in the past, but talking to this group, it feels like everybody is very close. And it's very important to be able to come to the rink, to feel comfortable, and to be able to perform at your best. I got added to the group chat, and they're kind of funny in there. He then had a few comments that I also thought were interesting from Pierre Dorian, written in this article. Pierre Dorian was talking to NHL Network earlier last week, and he says that the Tarasenko signing is huge and good for our organization. Our fans should be happy, he says. The last two years, we've been able to attract some top free agent talents on the market. Last year it was Giroux, and this year our pro scouts and management group had a big debate about who was the best winger available, and Tarasenko was definitely in that conversation. The article ends off talking about how you have Shane Pinto that still needs to be signed and Igor Sokolov is there too. The Sens are going to have to do some wheeling and dealing over the next few days to open things up. But for now, Dorian says that JP and Pat seem to indicate they were looking for more of a one-year deal for Tarasenko. This is probably the highest we could go with with what we've got to do next as well with Pinto. Naturally, this article concludes, Tarasenko will get time on one of the power play units. We just felt this would be the best option for us. The credit goes to the Senators organization because everybody took some time to talk to me and they explained the situation. I just decided this is the team where I want to be next year. And I saw a lot of Senators fans going out there and saying that they really appreciated the honesty here. Like, just from the way Tarasenko is talking about Ottawa, the way he's talking about the team and the situation, he's not making any long-term commitments at all. He's not even insinuating that a long-term idea is even a remote possibility. He's just saying, yeah, we're here, I wanted to be here, we want a one-year deal, it's good. Good group of guys, I like it, I'm comfortable here, they seem to like me, and it's gonna be good. He's not going out there making any fake promises. He's not going out there setting any Sens fans up for disappointment when he decides to inevitably leave next year or if he gets traded or whatever. Like, this is very business-like in every sense of the word, and you can feel that there's transparency in making that be known. This isn't like Debrinket last year where he was sort of wishy-washy, you could feel that there was an idea he was trying to portray that made it seem like he would want to stick around, but you could sort of tell that he kind of didn't want to, and now it's like, okay, well, we know that he didn't want to stay, he got traded, now we've got Kubalik, who is pretty alright, and then we signed Tarasenko too. With Tarasenko, it's like, yeah, he's being super honest about everything, and there's a good, admirable quality to that. It's not setting fans up with lies, it's just him being, yeah, I wanted to come here for a year. That's what we wanted. And so, for Vladimir Tarasenko, if it works out, then hey, this could really work out. As we had talked about in the past few videos, he genuinely does have a lot of talent when it comes to still being able to score goals and make plays, and flanking on one of the power play units in Ottawa is going to be a really good opportunity for him, because we know he's going to be one of the top dogs. Imagine in 2015, telling somebody that Claude Giroux and Vladimir Tarasenko would each decide to go to the Ottawa Senators in free agency. That's wild. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this British Trolls 99. And bye.